All right, Antoine Hopena, that's a pretty awful way to lose a game. Uh, just talk about, from your perspective on that play, where, where were you? What did you see? Uh, I didn't really see much. Um, I was kind of out of the play. And, uh, you know, when I looked back, the ball was back of the net. So um, I can't really comment on what happened. Do you feel like that ref was trying to make a statement? You know, he sent off Watson. He went after you with the yellow card. And, and what, it didn't seem like he was going to give any fouls. Yeah, it seemed uh, he let he let a lot go. Um, so, you know, those are... Those are tough games, and uh, you know you want to go out there and you want to keep playing hard, and uh, you know you don't know you don't really know, you know what what he's going to do. So it was a tough game. So Jack heads off to the Gold Cup. You guys have a bunch more games. Do you feel like you have a chance to win some more minutes now? Yeah, I mean I'm hoping so. Um, obviously, Wheels showed that he's ready to get a lot more minutes as well. Uh, you know he's a great player. So uh, depending on what coach wants to do, you know, either. You know, me, Wheels, uh, Seb up top, you know, we're, I think we're going to be in good hands. So, uh, obviously, Jack's a great player, but I think we have a, a bunch of forwards who are ready to show that they're able to, you know, be good players in this league. So, hopefully, you know, that's, this gives an opportunity to, to all of us to be able to demonstrate that we want to, we can play forward and we can score goals. Did it get frustrating up there with, with essentially four strikers all running into each other and or in that final third? Did, was that a frustration or was that a, a good thing to, to finally get that goal? I thought, it, I thought it went pretty well, to be honest. Um, obviously, we're all kind of uh, still kind of trying to learn how uh, everyone plays, especially when I'm out, out wide in midfield. Uh, so trying to figure out how that um, that position uh, relates to being uh, to the forward. So I'm still trying to understand everything. But uh, I think I think today it went pretty well. Um, obviously, it would have been much better if we had gotten the three points. But uh, going forward, I thought we did a good job. Um, obviously, Wheels did a great job scoring, and uh, you know I think. Uh, yeah, I think it was, I think it went well. Do you take any solace from four points out of two really tough games right now? Not right now. Maybe uh, maybe later in the season when you're looking back and this stretch, you might be able to look back and say, you know, four points was good at this stretch. But coming off uh, coming off this game right now, losing in the 90th minute or t getting scored on the 90th minute for a draw, you know, that's it's no, nothing you want to never something you want to experience. You know, that's not that's not something we're happy about. Good luck on the road trip. All right, Jack, obviously a tough way to lose that game. You're heading off to the Gold Cup. Where, where's your head right now? Uh, still, you know, thinking about this uh, game, you know, it wasn't obviously the best ending and uh, probably won't uh, think ahead until probably tomorrow. But, you know, I'm still excited to go and, uh, you know, kind of sad that I had to leave these guys for a while. You end with the four points out of those two games, you know, two pretty tough games. Is there anything about you that feels good about that right now? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, uh, two, we got a couple big results lately, and uh, we should have had another one today, but, you know, it is what it is, and uh, we're still, you know, happy with the results. But we got some tough games coming up, but, and we really needed them today, but, you know, we'll uh, work through it. It looked like there were moments where you were pulling off runs and, and f trying to find space and looked frustrated that the ball just wasn't coming in. Uh, how do you deal with that, and, and how can you can keep going forward with it? Yeah, you can't, I mean, really deal. You can't do anything about it when, uh, you know, someone doesn't play you a ball or anything. You just got to keep making the runs, and hopefully that one time they'll get you. And uh, obviously it's frustrating, And but like I said, you just got to keep doing it. When you start dropping back into the midfield, is that just you want touches, or has that been something that's been talked about and planned? Uh, a little bit of both. Um, I mean, usually, you know, at the end of the game, the game starts to open up, and there's a lot of space in, uh, in the midfield. So I kind of just tuck back in and try to get the ball. That's where in the beginning of the game is kind of cramped, and we like to play in the corner. So uh, I think it's a little bit of both. So looking at the Gold Cup, have you had conversations with Jurgen Klinsmann? Do you, do you have an idea of what your role is on this team? Uh, I mean, I really have no idea. I've, the only thing I w was told was to kind of just go in and take it one day at a time. And, uh, you know, I'm not really, run too really sure what to expect, and I haven't been this, in this situation before. So, uh, like, that's, I mean, that's really my only choice, one day at a time. So, Best of luck to you. Thank you. Moby Akugo, obviously not, not the way you want to finish that. You, you're in the midst of that play. What did you see? What do you think happened on that last goal? Oh, it's just tough. You know, everyone was in the box, even the goalie. They just try to put in the air and uh, make the ref make a decision. And uh, unfortunately, it didn't go our way, but they did a good job to score late. They knew um, they knew we were susceptible on set pieces because they scored two goals off it, but we just got to get better. looked like you guys pushed your wingers really high and, and didn't quite anticipate the speed of Castillo on one side and Jackson on the other. Do, do you feel like you underestimated them? 
No, the coaching staff did a great job telling us that they were speedy guys. It's just that in the, in our at our home house, uh, we we just we just wanted to press the tempo, and uh, they caught us off guard. But once we settled in, it was pretty good. As someone who likes to pass the ball with everybody forward, do you feel like you were lacking options when you looked up? You know, with just Brian and uh, and Mike Farfan sitting in the midfield. Yeah, um, Dallas wanted to make it a, a rugby game, so it was. We were trying to. We were, both teams were skipping the midfield, so I was trying to bypass Michael and Brian because they were waiting for it. They were waiting for me to pass it to them to pounce and try to get a, a quick counter attack with Castillo and Jackson. So once we settled in, it was pretty good, but we could try to get better. Your take on, on Javon Watson coming at you? You know, I've seen the replay. I don't know if you have. What, what did you feel on that play? Uh, he once the ball went past me, I just turned, and the next thing I know, he's on the ground. It's unfortunate. Um, for him because he was doing pretty well, but you know, flopping gets punished. The ref made a good decision. So Antoine gets a yellow card for diving as well. It seemed like uh, referee Alan Chapman was out to kind of prove a point. Do you feel like he took it a little too far with the physicality at the end of the game? Yeah, you know, I don't want to say anything. Refs have tough decisions, but um, I feel like he was trying to balance it out. I don't know if he felt bad for, for them being a man down. or. But Dallas wanted to make it a physical, physical game and make the refs make decisions, and they did a good job trying to make it like that. And uh, we just got to be smart. Um, I remember, I know BC told uh, Antoine, I told Antoine to just, you know, be careful because they're looking to try to even it out. So, quick turnaround, you got two tough road games. How do you get this team's head back into, into winning mode? You know, we just got to look at the film. You know, we're going to have to step up as guys because uh, Keon and Jack are out. We got a couple of injuries, but we got to take advantage of the task. Um, luckily for us, we've been pretty good on the road, so hopefully we can keep it going because Real Salt Lake and Houston are tough teams. It, it probably doesn't feel good to talk about it right now, but your goal, getting forward, scoring the goal, do, do teams just not scout that throwing? I, I don't know. I mean, Shannon could put it where he wants. Like they don't. I think they underestimate how far he can throw. He he can really throw it. So um, we just try to get open. Luckily for me, I was open and I was able to put it in. You're all of a sudden one of the the better players in the air in this league, getting forward, causing havoc on corner kicks. What did you do to change that, to, to raise that part of your game? Uh, I mean, just uh, talking with the coaches in the off season, just working on it. It wasn't really that um, the jumping that was a tough part. It was the timing and um, being able to deal with players pushing you while you're jumping in the air. So once I figured that, I talked to other center backs around the league, like Ike and um, other guys that I'm cool with, like Baki, and they said, you know, repetition and you're going to get used to it. So hopefully I can continue that, and it's, it's going well for me right now. Well, good luck on the road. Shane Williams, Astomobi. Do, do teams not scout the throwing? I mean, you can scout it, you can practice it. That's not going to help you. Uh, the the way the ball comes in, unless you have somebody that can do a long throw to practice it, it's there's so many bodies for a goalkeeper to come out. It's, I mean, good luck trying to stop it. So we're going to keep doing it, and teams can get ready all they want. So you got one assist through the air, one off your foot. Just talk about getting forward more and, and, and putting that service into the box. Yeah, just uh, we have some guys this year that that are making good runs and that you know are putting their bodies on the line and you know willing to to be in the right spot. So as long as that's the case, you know we'll keep putting in balls. Uh, you know, Seba played a couple good balls that unfortunately didn't uh, didn't find the back of the net, and uh, you know we had a couple good ones from the other side. So you know I think that you know when we uh, when we play side to side, we get good chances off the crosses. It looked like Castillo and Jackson started out really fast, and you, you, both you and Ray adjusted and, and started to play really physically on them and, and try and pinch them out. Who, who made that adjustment, and, and when did that happen? I mean, you, you see how they're starting, and you know that if that continues, it's going to be a long day for you. So, uh, you know, you got to do – you make the adjustment by yourself. Uh, get tighter, do your job, and, you know, not get into this track meet. They're two of the fastest guys uh, going forward, and I think that me and Ray uh, – you know, we're pretty fast ourselves, so, you know, it was, it was a good matchup, and uh, I thought that, you know, for the most part, we did well. I thought that both of them were, were pretty ineffective at times, and I thought, uh, you know, Ray and, and myself did a good job in, in trying to limit their chances. At some point, it just seemed like you guys were, were skipping the midfield and just trying to push everything over the top and going forward. Was that circumstantial, or was that uh, planned? Uh, a little bit of both. Uh, they're they're a really direct team. You see it with the with the bodies they have and the speed that they have out wide. So we knew that you know they'd be they'd be trying to go down, uh, especially with the long balls. And I know we've been we've been beat a couple times off that. So I, we knew going in that they would try that, and you know it kind of got into a, a, a little kicking match. And then we I think we settled down well and we got the ball moving and led to the second goal, of course. Um, and uh, 
regardless, I think that you know we, we did a good job uh, doing our game plan and we did what we needed to do. So you got the four points from these two tough games. You know, it, it probably doesn't feel great now, but can, are you going to be able to use that going forward to these two tough road games? Yeah, I mean, we're that's you don't want to tie that game. That's a game that we should win, and you know we're going to learn from it, and um, we're going to move forward in two tough road games, probably two of the the tougher places to play, and we're going in there to to do our best. Well, best of luck. Thank you. All right, Aaron Wheeler. Before you played ten minutes, you get your first goal. Just just talk talk us through the goal. Uh, you know, it's a it's a fairly typical play from from the training ground. Uh, with Shane and making the run up the wing and uh, picking us up and looking for me. Uh, we always joke about coming in and he's like, when are you ever going to get in there so I can just drop balls to you in the box? And that, that place happened numerous times on the training ground, so it was just very familiar and everything just happened to work out perfectly. So a few minutes before that, you almost cut Sebastian in half. <laughs> How amped up were you? How fired up were you just to get out there and, and be on the field? Yeah, it was good. Um, I saw that loose ball and I just had tunnel vision, so I felt really bad because I know I'd probably kill Sebastian and I saw him looking for his knee and I was like, oh, please don't let it be anything serious, but he was able to shake it off. Yeah, I was absolutely pumped though. You know, home game to get more minutes. You know, I had my debut, but it was only a minute, so to get out there and get a full run in, it was good. With so many people going forward, you know, you're running essentially four strikers going forward. Is that troubling in terms of people getting in the way of each other or is that just something that, that you need to do? Um, it's just something you need to do. You know, we were going for the win. We're not, we're not here to, to get ties at home. We're, we're going for the throat, and we want to make this place a fortress. So, you know, um, you just have to time your runs and make sure everybody's making different runs so that you're not wasting space. So um, it, can be a, it can look quite hectic at times, and it can be quite hectic at times, but you just, you just got to be smart and pick your spots. So with Jack heading off to the Gold Cup, is, is MLS ready for the, the Wheeler-KC tandem? Oh, geez. I don't know if I'm ready for that tandem. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll see. You know, what, whatever way the coaches think I, I can help contribute to the team, I'm, I'm more than willing to do so. Uh, obviously, it's a great opportunity for Jack. And, you know, if the coaches think I can, I can come in and help, then, you know, I'll do whatever role they see me in. Well, congratulations Thanks. on the goal. And sorry it didn't work out better. <laughs> Thank you very much.